I've been struggling a little bit lately, fighting myself, thinking about the things I've been doing and if they are the right things at all, if I should be doing different things. And I was fighting with a specific topic lately in the last few days that I was really struggling against it, that I didn't want to let go. And I realized that I was actually being completely hypocritical about it because I always talk to you guys and I will always tell you that you guys should do what you're here in this world to do, that you guys shouldn't be afraid of taking opportunities or of seizing the day or of doing the things that, you know, when something shows up, like I always say, you need to do the thing. You need to talk to the girl you like. You need to do all of those things. And then at the same time, sometimes an opportunity arises that you weren't expecting. And then you kind of fight it. You kind of don't want to let yourself enjoy that opportunity. Or either because you think you're not worth it, like you're not worthy of it, or that for some reason, not necessarily your self-worth as a person, but for some reason you fight against it. Or, and then you start trying to find ways why you shouldn't do it. Instead of thinking of the ways or the things why you should do something, you start thinking, I shouldn't do this because of this, 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 and this, and that. And when you think of it, if it was someone else telling you about the same thing, you would probably say that they were delusional, that they shouldn't be shooting their, them, them, their selves, themselves on the foot. And that's what I would say to most of my friends and to you guys. I mean, you are my friends too, some of you at least. You are my friend. If you're watching this till now, you are my friend. Thank you. Please comment. I want to know which of you guys are still watching at 2.22. You know, it's kind of hard sometimes when you're doing these kinds of videos that you're talking, looking at a camera and talking in an empty room, just you and the camera, and you don't really get a lot of feedback. You, you only get the odd comments sometimes. Someone will say, yeah, I love your videos and that kind of thing. But you kind of, sometimes you lack that specific feedback. And it, this is something that's kind of hard when you're doing something like this, in which you don't really know if people are watching. You don't really know if they're enjoying it. Which, on the other hand, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, and I can totally help you with that as well. It's something good in a way in the beginning because you'll probably be thinking that you're a bit shy about it. You don't like to see yourself on camera. You don't like to hear yourself, especially. That's a very common problem. But then again, pretty much no one will see it anyways. So in that sense, you don't really need to be afraid of putting things out. But back to those struggles, right? So in the last few weeks, I, I was really struggling with a few things. I was feeling very tired, which I thought was maybe because I was training very hard at the gym and I was going at least four or five, six times a week and really like kicking ass over there. So I thought that might be a reason. So a systemic um, tiredness, like a neurological tiredness, because when you go to the gym and you train hard, like not those sissy lifts when you really go to the max that you possibly can at any given time, any given day, it's hard on not only on your muscles, but also on your neurological system, on your nervous system, because you put it under a lot of stress. And I, I thought maybe that's why I'm feeling so tired lately. And also I wasn't sleeping very well. I have cats and there were many days in which, I mean, most days I end up waking up at least one or once or twice a night and because of the cats. But anyways, so I was kind of juggling these things. And at the same time, when you start feeling tired and stressed all the time and 
you kind of lose your creativity a little bit, or at least you lose a little bit of the willingness to do those things that are more creative. And I know that when I'm talking to someone else, I can help them easily see what's wrong and and like how they can correct it. But at the same time, when it's with yourself, sometimes it's harder, even though if you really sit down and think about it, you know what the problem is, you know what you should be doing. But even then, sometimes it's hard to actually go through and do it. You end up doing it usually because you don't want to be a hypocrite. You don't want to like, you know, you want to put your money where your mouth is. But at the same time, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Sometimes it's easier when you tell someone else. And it's also easier when someone else tells you about this. And this is also one of the things that happened in the last few weeks. My best friend said that, you know, I, I probably have some potential being a black swan, doing some things that, I mean, more technical things, I guess, or more complicated things, which is true. And then that kind of like turned me down. Like I was super pumped. And even though I know he's coming from a loving place and he's probably coming from a place of not having seen most of my latest stuff, like really, he probably never watched that much of my things, to be honest, maybe a few shorts and but I don't think he's watching the the full long form videos. So, and most people actually aren't like most of the close people by, by you won't be able to see everything that you do. If you're writing, if you're putting out videos, if you're doing some other form of art, they simply won't have time or won't have, you know, the bandwidth or, they won't be able to see everything that you do. And they, and sometimes it's hard to gauge that kind of feedback, like I was saying. So this is another thing that happened. And, and then like, I had a lot of backlog videos that I put out like one a day in August. So I must've put out like 15 videos or maybe even a little bit more, I'm not sure in August. But then now I don't have any backlog. Like I'm literally going to finish recording this and post it. And then I won't have any other things. So I didn't have any backlog anymore. And I know that somewhere I promised that I would get to 200 episodes by the end of the year. But then I thought about it and really doesn't make sense to do it for the sake of doing it. And I mean, I totally could put out 200 episodes. It's not that I can't, but at the same time, if I was going to do this, if I were going to do this, I'd have to do less of other things. And at this moment in my life, I need to do some other things as well. I need to not only put out videos, which is great. And which if you're watching this, you probably found me through YouTube or from some other video platform, which is awesome. But at the same time, I have to do other things with my life, right? Especially business wise, I can't just put out videos. And at this point in time, I can't also outsource most of the post-production. And even though I do very basic post-production and like the most basic possible way even so you end up having to like invest a little time into it into thinking about a title for the video and to putting out a little description and to uploading it to to spotify to youtube to wherever you're uploading your things uh, you have to think about also how you're going to bring eyeballs to see your content because if you're just putting it out and like spray and pray, just hoping that people watch it. I mean, sometimes it does happen. And sometimes in some videos that I didn't even expect that would blow up, did blow up and 
you end up learning a lot in the process. But at the same time, if you have an audience in other places that you can send to your videos, it's also better. It's just better if you could. So if you're promoting the things in other places, all of this ends up becoming a time sink. So basically, I'm not going to do 200 videos by the end of the year because I'd be basically doing just this, just putting out videos, talking about the videos somewhere else. And even by doing that, I wouldn't have time to do other things, things that might give me money right now or learning new skills that I can use. So I think that it wasn't a very wise decision to do this. So I decided to just, you know, quit that idea. I'm not going to do this. Maybe I'll get to a hundred by the end of the year. I'm at 70, I guess, 70 something. Let me see. Yeah, so I'm at 68 right now. So this is video 60. <laughs> if you have ADHD, that's the best position that you can do. But anyways, I'm giving you a, a long-winded answer to something that has nothing to do with anything about this. The thing is, it's time to go back on the road. And I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video that probably would have given a better um, beginning and like keeping people watching more. But yeah, it's time to go back on the road. I was fighting against it, but there was just an opportunity, an offer that I couldn't refuse. And I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now because I'm gonna show you guys in a few days Hopefully, I'll be able to start showing you guys a little bit, showing you around the places I'm going in and maybe some people that I meet along the way. And hopefully, I'll, I'll get better equipment so that I can do some different things so it won't be just like a talking head video. I can sh really show you guys around some places, some cool places that I, I want to go. But really, it was super on the fly. It was like, I, I saw that ticket on Monday and I was still fighting against it. And on Monday night I said, I'm not going, fuck it, I'm not going. And then I woke up on Tuesday and I had a bunch of exams to do. So I went to the to a lab to do those exams that like a doctor had prescribed me. And like, while I was in the middle of the exams, I, I said, well, let's just check and see if there's still like, they still have the, the ticket and they did. And they actually had one that was slightly better that I actually took. And I said, you know what, fuck it. And I bought it on the spot while I was still in the lab. No, actually that's not true. Actually it was after I came back. But anyways, I bought a ticket yesterday, Tuesday, and I'm traveling tomorrow tomorrow evening tomorrow night so pretty much the next day flight and it was super cheap like really it was ridiculous I mean, it's a flight that i'll stop in one place and then go to a second place a few hours later that's what i'm going to leave right now but if i was going to the first place only and stopping there, the ticket was like $2,000, like ridiculous. And I paid six times less, more or less to go to the same place and then go to another place that's like five hours away on another flight. So it's ridiculous how sometimes the, the airline system works, right? Really really interesting to think about. So this is a tip for you guys. Check out some last minute flights. You, you might get some interesting results sometimes. So if you have the flexibility of going to places, last minute flights, sometimes you can get very, very budget friendly 
flights anywhere. Like really the, the place that I'm going, like the second place is pretty far and it's pretty, there are direct flights, but they're usually expensive because it's far. So yeah, I don't want to say too much because I want to show you guys in a few days. But yeah, I was fighting against this. I was fighting against going back on the road. And I was thinking about it. And maybe it's because I've been on the road a lot, like lately and in the last year. And this year I already had a 46 day trip. So I guess I was kind of yearning to be home, you know, and to just spend a little time in my hometown and be able to see a little bit more of my family and my friends, which is partly true because, I mean, I could be seeing them more than I am. Like, I should probably be seeing them more than I am. And then you see, when you don't have the opportunity, like, if you're living somewhere else and you go to your hometown and you have a weekend or a long weekend, you'll make ends meet, you'll see everyone, you'll give everyone the attention. But if you, it's, it's the same thing as if there's some very important tourist attraction, museum, something important in your city. You might live there your whole life and never go. But if you were a tourist and you had a couple of days or even a few hours in the city, you'd probably go and see it which is absolutely crazy, but it's the truth. And I know it for a fact, I've done it myself. And I know that most people end up doing the same thing. If you don't consciously try to see the places around you that are amazing, you end up in a routine and then, oh, it's another weekend and, oh, it's brunch with Emily. It's happy hour with Jamie and whatever it is. And then you never go and do the thing. So, you know, I was thinking about all of this, like I said, in the beginning, reminiscing about how sometimes I tell you guys to just do it, to say fuck it to things. And, you know, sometimes you don't even know how you're going to pay for something or how, what you're going to do, but you just go and do it. And I decided to bite the bullet and it will be a very interesting experience, hopefully. And I'll show you guys some things. I'll, I'll talk about it and, and I hope you guys are doing well. I, I didn't want to talk too much about some things that have been going on in my country that some of you guys might be asking. Maybe maybe if you guys ask in the comments, uh, I might make another video later on and after I'm traveling already. But anyways, thank you for watching. Keep rocking, keep rolling. You are a rock star.